thank you for for the opportunity of being here and thank hello to to everyone i'm very happy uh, to be here to discuss a topic that i am passionate about which is uh, self-service business performance management solutions and the key role that they play um, in storytelling so once you have the data and we have all kinds of data the natural next step is to extract value from it we have the potential, but it won't get realized until you actually can uncover insights and get them translated into action. As you saw from one of the quotes that Larissa showed, this ability of taking data, understanding it, processing it, extracting value from it, and then visualizing it uh, to ultimately communicate it, it's a critical skill. And now with a self-service platform, you can really move and concentrate yourself on the story and help people to understand what is the story behind the numbers. So the need for data storytellers, for FP&A storytellers, is only going to increase. And with the self-service platforms available, now we will be turning for people that can drive insights and know how to communicate them. So if you see on this, on this slide and this graphic presented by Brent Dykes in a very good article in Forbes, storytelling is the combination of three key elements, data, visuals, and narrative. So when you couple narrative with data, it helps you explain to your audience why a particular insight it is important, may be important. When you couple visuals with data, then you can enlighten the audience and uh, because some insights are uncovered and they wouldn't have been seen without charts or graphs. So many interesting patterns and outliers in the data would remain hidden in simple data, data tables. And we have seen examples uh, in, in, in PepsiCo. In simple things just like a map, the power that a map can have, as we show country performance and its evolution across time, particularly helpful as we track the impact of the pandemic. It is something extremely powerful, but that it only can be achieved if, if you go through through automation. So finally, when you mix, combine this narrative with visuals, then you can engage, engage your audience. But when you combine it all, so when you have truly the right visuals, the right data, the right narrative, then you can drive, you can drive change. And the truth is that the world is changing and it is changing fast. So we have no option but to drive the change. So let's start mastering the combination of, of, these, three, of these three elements. Tailor the message for different audiences and use the power of visualization. The senior the, 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 senior the audience, the crisper the message. But the same happened with dashboards. One may not be suited for all levels of the organization. So choose wisely and leverage that dashboard, that view to make the story that helps you to make your story more, more compelling. So if we, if, if, if we move to the next chart and I want to give you some uh, key pointers around uh, storytelling and why it's crucial, it's crucial as, as we aim to give context and meaning to the numbers and facts. Uh, the stories, the stories can help people to understand the numerical impact of um, what impact numerical information has. Whether if we want to cut costs across a function, if we want to move to the next phase of a project, eh, if we want to reallocate resources, invest, the invest, this is uh, truly helpful. But when you think of a presentation, an effective presentation, start with the final objective. What is the story that you would like to tell? What is your purpose? If you want to inform, influence, persuade, even educate, there are many reasons why we run a data analysis. So get clarity on your goal first. And once you have decided your desired outcome, then you go backwards and, and work on it. Your presentation is a reflection of your thought process. So if your think is clear and logical, then your presentation will be too. I would also say the importance of being brief. We have a saying in Spanish from the 17th century that says, lo bueno si breve, dos veces bueno. The good, if brief, is twice as good. And one may add, if bad, not that bad. 
So be brief and crisp on, on your message. And remember that there are many visualizations tools available today, many sophisticated dashboards and visuals, but do not forget that less is more and do not let take, do not let the tool overtake uh, your story. And if I move to the to the next slide as I finish uh, my presentation, uh, studies have cho shown again and again, and also Larissa presented that, there is a lot of time spent by finance teams in creating and upgrading, updating reports. And the preference is that we should be dedicating none to this activity and really moving into the interacting and communicating with the business. This is where we belong as a function, business partnering. We are supposed to help to uncover insights, but that will never happen if we are buried, buried in spreadsheets, consolidating and reconciling numbers across different systems and, and data sources. As you saw, as much as 42% uh, of our teams spend their time in, in low value added activities. With this, of course, we're never gonna become the true strategic advisors that, that we are meant to be. So here is where you truly make the most out of your self-service platform, where you start sharing in a self-service model, uh, income statements, operating cash flow statements, key performance indicators that you really give the, the tools to navigate business performance. You can have trend analysis, brand, you can also combine it with external data sources. That is where you really can then move into the, into the value added side of things. I'm not saying it is easy. It is hard work because you need good data. And we saw that that is the first thing that it is preempting us to do uh, FPNA and proper FPNA storytelling. So you need good data. And then a dashboard is as only as effective as it's designed. But believe me, once you crack it, it truly, it truly unlocks value. You can see how people start interacting differently with uh, information. St instead of having a st statistic, static, sorry, static data on paper, you really move to the to, the, to interaction, to navigation. You can go at your own pace and move it the way you want. So no more photocopying, no more binders. Um, digital. We are going digital and finance is extremely well positioned to become the data owner and supply the information with the right single point of truth. So we can then discuss in meetings actions to take versus discussing what is the source of the number you are presenting and everyone coming in a meeting with, uh, with their different version of the truth. So this is my call to action. We are expected in finance not to report only data, but to add value, uncover insights, and uh, we are called to be true business partners. And with that, 